Not so Freudian here. Welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus Dailies. We are Judas today. Hopefully this goes better than that crap show we had yesterday. Holy cow, that was awful. Uh, yeah. If it's going to be a bunch of emulator hoppers, we are definitely using this when it's going to be almost impossible for it not to be charged for the boss. Okay, got rid of that one before it could become an immolator topper. Okay, there are item rooms, so that's already an improvement. We've been down the past few weeks, but you're feeling fine right now. I'm glad you're feeling better. Yeah, screw tech too. That is not a particularly good item. Ooh, bad dodge, bad dodge. It is not burning basement XL. At least, oh, that helps. Oh, they will not usually do quite that. Oh, okay, that healed me. Nice. Alright, Monstro can be dealt with fairly easily unless you get super unlucky. And just take a completely random full hard hit here. All right, I don't have any bombs, so going looking for a tinted rock isn't going to happen. I don't quite have five cents, so going to the shop isn't all that helpful. Synth oil sure is helpful, though. Holy cow. Alright, can't go to the curse room yet. Took my damage up to seven. Was that a weird interaction with the book where, like, the multiplied damage bonus because I was holding the book stayed or something? If I find a bomb, can I get two bombs out of that previous room? I don't remember if the rocks are close enough that I can, you know, open both with one. Ah, crap. Kill that. Kill that. Crap, I gotta go to the big room. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get both of those with one bomb. Right, this room could maybe be a problem. Just because of how close I have to get to multiple of them. Thanks to the obstacles. Okay, that's another Hemate Temesis. So, this room, Book of Sin. Oh, my day was alright. Luckily, it was only an eight hour shift. There's a bomb. Hmm. I might be able to look for a secret room at the same time as I open that. Awesome. Uh. The skinny mushroom. That's a maybe. I'm going to keep the Book of Sin long enough to uh, hopefully get it charged before the boss. I don't know if there's going to be enough rooms, though. Because the boss is probably at the end of this room. Dang it. Okay, there's a tinted rock. So that could be a major help. Another bomb. Hmm. Alright. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get another charge on this. But I do need to pick that up before the boss because it is the second floor. So it is a one shot on the smoke bombs. Okay. 
this can this has shown up a bunch recently. There's a chance I think it'll allow me to take another double room item. Which I don't actually care about taking more than one. But that is speed and damage. So I think I will take the odd mushroom. I may as well look for a crawl space here. No dice, but oh well. So I don't have any tears ups yet. That actually wasn't a very big t damage down. And that was a waste of a bomb, unfortunately. Like, that was less than one damage down. You know, so that basically counteracted the mark. But the mark also gave me speed and... Uh, what's the other thing? I don't remember. But, you know, the odd mushroom maxed out my range. Or, not my range, my tears. Alright, there's the shop. Fishtail. I don't have anything that makes... Um... Whatchamacallits, unfortunately. Flies. X-ray goggles. That means I need one bomb instead of, er, yeah, one bomb instead of multiples to blow up a keeper. Figured I would check and see if that was a super secret room. Way on the left. Right, so there's the secret room. Good. And I don't even need to use a bomb to blow that one up. So that's helpful. This might be a special room. It is not. This will get me two bombs for free. Good dodge. Kill that. There we go. May as well come in here. Sack of sacks is really good. I was going to say I've got, you know, one... extra key, so I may as well see if there's money to go to the shop. And it, you know, this room alone recharges the book, so. Anything? Okay. Not gonna say no to a bomb. Just... This room is strangely asymmetrical. I don't have a trinket yet, so may as well take that. I'm so glad it made the creep where it did. Okay. Not gonna bother using a bomb to get a penny. Even if I do have almost as many bombs as pennies. I have blown up a keeper, so I don't need to go to the shop to do that. The stain. Even if it is Krampus, the stain is probably more annoying. Okay. Jesus juice is more damage. The range probably isn't going to matter. This is really, really good. Okay, if I take this, sorry book, but this is probably going to be best. That'll give me the one soul heart it takes to buy this. And that gave me the Leviathan, which means I can fly now. And then this is just going to give me a um, bit of gup, like, you know, better chance of becoming guppy later. Next floor. And I've got really good damage for the whole floor. I didn't think about it, you know, to be honest, but 
that was the right choice because I go in for free, and then there's always a chance the uh, there's another guppy item. Uh, like if the secret room is adjacent to it, I'll find out once I'm in, and if it's not, it doesn't matter. But I had forgotten I had the X-ray goggles, X-ray glasses, X-ray goggles, X-ray specs. I don't remember what the game actually calls the item. You know, if you're brand new to Isaac, how do you first learn about secret rooms? I should probably find the shop first, because I have a gold key and I can get in, blow up the keeper. Plus with the, uh, I don't need that because I've already got the, whatchamacallit, the, and I get 15 cents out of that. Buy restock. Two of spades, sure. Hermit, not useful right this instant. Either is that. Definitely buy that, and then everything else there is going to be half price. Alright, so let's see how much money I can get. That was a really good shop to go to, holy crap. Just... Kill Wrath. Use the nail. I'm not even going to bother picking it up. To do that, open that because it's free. Take all that, get another thing because that was a charged key. Now I can buy two more items. Uh, you know what, just use that, get it out of the way. Charged baby is going to be helpful. I'm going to wait on buying that, just because, you know, obviously there's a... If I don't get seven more cents, there's no point to opening another one. Or to making another item available. If that had been another guppy item, I would have just been super happy. At least I'm two-shotting these guys now. Since I can fly, I'm not stuck in the little pathways. Normally I hate that room. So, basically, I go waste seven cents on the half-price item. Oh, a bomb dropped. Charged Baby must have dropped a battery right there that I picked up. Because I definitely got a charge just walking into that room. Go in here. No. Okay. Oh, never mind. Char charged baby gives you random charges. Not necessarily, uh... You know what? It doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to... Oh, you know what? I have unlimited keys so I can open both of these without wasting any keys. Just, uh, all right, yes, yeah, so there's no reason to make another one available because I... And, of course, if I had grabbed this first... I might have been able to get another item, but, you know, again, I was waiting to see if the gold options item would show up. Alright. Uh, I don't want little chat. Unless Dark Bum is in the devil room, and even then, I might not even need it since I got the nail.
Wait, isn't Book of Belial supposed to be a Leviathan item? Alright. Crap is going to be dealt with. Hopefully he gives me the... Uh, oh, no I was going to say hopefully he gives me the lump of coal, but guess not. Uh, okay, we are going, I think, to the chest. I was about to say, crap, when do I have to start looking for a sacrifice room? But, turns out I don't. Yeah, there's the... item room, got it. Wait and see, though. That's not a special room. I don't remember if the... You know, I don't... I was going to say, I don't remember if the uh, x-ray goggles show you if the... Dagnabbit. Item room is next to you or not. Or like, if there's a special room next to you. I'll take this... Okay, it is depths one. I'll take this to the double room, see if I can get a double room item for free. Wow, that was awful. That's like the fourth or fifth hematemesis pill I've gotten. And then like, the one question mark pill. And... I don't remember if I've gotten any other pills. I have blown up a keeper. I haven't found a beggar. No super seeker in yet, huh? But yeah, I am gonna wait, because there's a chance the super seeker room has a beggar in it. And blowing that up would, uh... Okay. I'll take the onk, because, I mean, there's a chance I get some crazy, terrible combo going. Or there's a black market that I just can buy, it, like, everything out of, thanks to restock. I'm not even going to pick that up. I wish Bob's bladder contributed to the Bob transformation, though. But I don't know if or I don't know how easy it would be to code, you know, a trinket to count. Because I think all other transformations are items only. I love when they spawn a single enemy that dies immediately. Because it, you know, decides to despawn itself. It doesn't happen often. Okay, Orf. Didn't hurt me, at least. Ah, dang it. Yeah, even if I were to take the coupon with me, getting an item with the coupon in a shop actually, uh... No, beggar. Yeah, using a coupon on an item in the shop actually stops, um... restock from giving you another item. Ooh, I think I'm slightly too slow to get to boss rush. I would have to beeline, which might actually be worth it. Actually. So if I grab that hermit card, I can hermit out of boss rush if I find it fast enough. Yeah, there is another battery. There we are.
lots of money, which unfortunately probably means... Huh. I will wait on that. waiting on everything. Freaking die, freaking die. Oh crap. So I know I'm not fighting Krampus in the Devil Room. Unfortunately, I don't have any contact damage or uh, watch my columns to hurt the foot extra. seconds. I mean, I wind up with the same amount of health afterward. Take that. Continuum. Homing bombs. A terrible beam and eye in the back of my head. I guess homing bombs. You know what? I don't want to sit through boss rush, unfortunately. Oh, hey, at least the item's half price. Although I should finish the floor and... Oh, wait, no. Doesn't even matter. So I can always come back. Okay, there's Bookworm. I'll take Sharp Plug. I'll take Mom's Key. Just get that out of the way. Can't use that, unfortunately. That should be helpful. Chaos will be fun. Black Candle. absolutely amazing. And there's Guppy's tail. So as long as I get five cents, I'll take Mr. Mega. I wonder what it would have been. Uh, although, if I get Mama Mega, I, I actually don't know it won't open the oh crap, boss rush door because I've already been there. I've already been to mom, so the explosion won't happen. Crap. Alright. Lots of stuff. Which means lots of, lots of items. Ah, I'm an idiot. I forgot to wait for... See if I got the gold options on him. Although with... Uh, chaos... It's less likely to show up in the shop than it would otherwise. Huh. I'll take that, just because it's a fly item. Oh, and it's one of the ones I like. Hey, Goathead. That's always nice. Leave, come back. Card against humanity is probably not worth much. I don't really want the... I didn't even think to look at how much money I had to make sure I wasn't wasting pennies by picking them up when I was at 99. There's Guppy. The Halo. Just take those to have them. 
And unfortunately, that's the end because I'm not taking Cursed Eye either way. But yeah, finding a, um, arcade where I can get rid of my damage if you have evil up items, I think. And I've got a couple of evil up items. Alright, I already took what was in there. Alright, secret room's down there. Yep. Generally... actually be useful. You know what, because I don't need to insulate myself for hard mode even. But I sure have opened a lot of chests without getting half heart. Or many full hearts. Alright, keys may be useful. There's no shop this floor, so Hermit's not useful. Guess my meat cube blocked that shot. That should hit me. But not that one. And of course it happened immediately before it would have been useful. Oh, I completely missed that tinted rock then. Right, walk into the eternal fly because... What? Oh, I must have gotten half a heart from... Must have gotten half a heart from the friggin' uh Oh wait, you know what? Losing the half a heart out of the whatchamacallit doesn't lose you half the heart out of the heart or container. Yeah, losing the half a heart out of a bone thing won't like even if you take a full heart of damage, you'll only lose the half. Which is probably better more often than it's worse, but it's kind of annoying right now. So I wanted the Polaroid active. So, yeah, anyway. It is a shame that the Devil Room item is still a Devil Room item, but it's not a very good one.
Yeah, I don't have the map. I just happened to find a uh, world card. Oh, you know what? I absolutely should have taken Yara with me. I should have realized that once I saw that we were going to the chest. Alright, now unless I get the wafer somehow, I'm not going to be uh, able to get to half a heart even if I trade this container away. up half a heart, if there was one, then use that, but there aren't any half hearts around, at least I got the correct items, a little bit of damage because it's an evil up, I don't need more bombs, this room's free, don't need to him up. But we'll come here for free. Alright, Little Horn is amazing. Quite frankly, I was just um, like, I don't care so much about the sad bombs. Oh, hey. I guess I'm not really going to know if double Little Horn gives me more Little Horn tears or not. So I don't think it was a damage up. So I don't think it matters. And not going to need to sacrifice. Like I said earlier. almost never worth it, unless you got mom's uh, key, and then even then they can, you know, not be worth it, like we just saw, because they'll usually only open once or twice to give you anything, or zero times, and they just pay out like normal chests, which we don't care about. Alright, super secret rooms next to this room. I absolutely should not have been hit there. Pretty sure Bloody Crown gives you a shop in the or shops in the womb. So okay, well that sucks. Unless I get uh forget me now somehow. 
it's not going to do crap. I'm not quite strong enough to go there. Maybe after the next couple of floors. Hey, Ignacio Marine. Yeah, I just, like, it only gives item rooms on the womb, though. And since I was already done with the womb, like, it wouldn't spawn one on the floor I was already on. So in order to get anything out of it, you have to get it on the womb one or before. In case you're wondering, I am waiting to do the Dove Room teleport until I see whether... I mean, because this room could have had a red chest in it that would teleport me, or I could find a um, HP up. Oh, okay. Increasing my tiers by that much is probably better than the damage up. Like, going from five to three tiers. Alright, I definitely don't need the left hand. Because I've already got, um... Like, I'm already guppy. And I want the chests next floor to be guaranteed items instead of possibly items. I think I got Mr. Mega, so I don't need to be quite as precise as normal there. That was a disappointing dead end. and easy. Get another nickel. Get rid of those just because they annoy me. Okay. You know what? I'm not going to have the Polaroid active either way, so I may as well take that for the Delrum teleport. Right, that's not helpful. Great to find the error in. I might be able to get one out of that. The odds aren't all that high, but there's a chance. Eh. I've already got Bookworm, and I don't really care about Athame. Just do that for the damage up for the room, get her to the corner, alright, can't use the soul heart there, I am going to give this some money, because a Yara rune could just be amazing, I don't know if I would take any trinket over cancer, it's so like even uh, Curb Torn is barely any better than the other trinket I had. Uh, I mean, Crystal Ball isn't going to do much for me, unfortunately, now that I think about it. Because, like, I'm already exploring the whole floor. And the secret and super secret rooms are gonna, you know, open. <sighs> and that is why maybe I should have taken uh, Bob's curse in you know previous chance I had. If there was a tinted rock in here. That lucky penny's helpful. Right, 
hair stains. Uh, I don't think the odds of me getting another trinket are very high. I'm not going to die, and I'm already guppy. And it's not going to get rid of any heart containers, so there's no point in taking that. Mom's eyeshadow does not give a tears up the way Mom's perfume does. Steven is damaged, so sure. Okay, this is not the way to the boss. I thought it was going to be, so I thought about backtracking and going the other way first. But I got lucky, and didn't have to go all the way back there just to, you know, hit that one room. Okay. I'll grab that on the way back through, because it's in the center of the room. Alright, 99 bombs ain't gonna... Need 10 more. says more trinkets. Although actually, okay, that's certainly not helpful. This, yes, it doubles the effectiveness of whatever trinket you're holding. So it maxim maximizes my fire rate. You know, it goes from three to one. The present and the wafer. Bob's freaking curse again. I really should have taken that. But yeah, I'll grab the wafer if a... Um, oops, I thought he was going to die before he could shoot. Oh, well. I was going to say, I'll grab the wafer if I wind up being able to go to... Uh, delirium's floor. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you would, and I'll see you guys next time.